Hello everyone, this is Pedro from Pratalista with one more video. It's been a while, I haven't recorded a video, probably the first or second of this year. So today I'm gonna go through step by step on how to do unit testing on your data engineering using Databricks and then to use the Spark cluster first we're gonna do a local test using Databricks Connect and I'll go through the process of authentication and everything and then we're gonna then deploy this in a CI CD and then we're gonna test that in GitHub Actions so let's get started so we're gonna start a brand new folder I'll call it um, unit test databricks let's cd into that directory and open vs code so if you follow my channel I, you know that I use WSL uh, Ubuntu for my machine so I have my terminal here so if you haven't uh, watched the video about Databricks Asset Bundle and I go through in detail on how to authenticate and how to uh, set up your Databricks environment so I'm not going to do that in this video so I'm just gonna quickly um, show you Databricks that I'm using so I'm using this tenant here so if you have in your account, so that's your tenant URL. So the first thing that um, you have to do is to check this file here, which is uh, on your home directory. So the file is called DataBricks.cfg. So if, in order to see this file on your system, you have to install DataBricks uh, CLI. Too. So on this, uh, you have to set up the default to connect to Databricks. So you have to have those two variables. The first one is the host, and the second one is the token. So let me just change this token to show you how you get it. So let's delete this one as well. So if you go on your Databricks Azure, you go to your uh, Databricks environment or your tenant. So you copy the URL, that one you paste here, and then on the token, so you go inside your workspace, just close this one. Indicate, and once you are on your environment, you go to that little, your, your first initial here, go to settings, inside settings developer uh, access, uh, access to access token I'm just, just delete this one so I'll gener generate a new token I'm just gonna call it um, I call it unit test so let's just value for today generate copy this one go back and then paste here so save to test that your credentials are working. You just do a data bricks off and then profiles. And then that's gonna give you a green if it's valid. So now we can do our project. The first step I'm gonna use data bricks asset bundle to CLI to create an initial project. For that you do a data bricks bundle and then init and then I'm gonna use the default Python so I'm just gonna call this project unit test and then it just to include a source folder with a notebook sample I'd say yes no Delta live tables because I'm not going to use in this example and no package so you see that a folder called unit test has been created. I'm just gonna see the into that one. 
if you see that's the default um, structure I'm not going to go into the detail if you want to know more watch the videos about bundles we are int just interested here in doing unit testing so for that I'm gonna first do a test locally let's set up a Python virtual environment first forgot the letter M so I'm gonna activate my environment now so I always uh, upgrade pip So once pip is upgraded, I'm just gonna install the requirements. I'm gonna create a requirements file here. Requirements.txt. And I'm just gonna cop and paste the requirements. So it's important that the Databricks Connect is a version that the cluster that you're going to use in my case, I'm gonna use serverless. After that, I'm just gonna delete this notebook here. I'm just gonna keep it. I'm gonna create a new file, a Python file. And that's gonna be called, um, call it functions.py. And that one is just gonna be a simple, PySpark function that I'm going to test. So that's a function that filters a data frame in a column called creation date time from a particular date time, okay? Next step, I'm going to just to make sure that this package got recognized. Uh, I think I'm gonna add a init.py here. and a test folder. So on the top level, call tests. So inside test, I'm going to create a file called test function .py and I'm going to just Okay, for Databricks connect to work I need to import data breaks um, connect import oops, import so data breaks session okay so let, I think I haven't installed the requirements let me just do uh, I do pip install r requirements I don't think I'm on yeah I think I've saved this file on the top directory let me just move so no I think it's gonna work pip install r requirements so now that's gonna install the requirements so now for that one I will need um, pytest because I'm going to create a fixture. I'm just going to copy this fixture here. So on this fixture, I'm just going to create a serverless uh, Python section. And the way I do it, I just use that Databricks session, builder serverless true, get or create. So save that into Spark and return. And then I'm going to use the that serverless in that function. So I think with that we can do a pytest. I'll do a Python m pytest, and that should work. One important thing is because I'm using serverless here, um, you need to have serverless enabled on your workspace. So if you don't know how to do it, I have a video that goes through it. 
So let's see if this is going to work. I think it's starting the server, the, the cluster, which it takes a few seconds. Yeah, so it's working. Now, let's test a function from my source code. Uh, for that, I'm going to import uh, from src, which is where my I'm going to import the module functions, and then I'm going to create another task called uh, dev test um, function. So, but this one, I'm going to just going to give you a more uh, meaningful name because this function I usually do the name of the function. So test this one. So in terms of tests, I will do three steps. So I'm gonna just copy and paste because to be a bit quicker. So what I'm doing here, uh, I'm doing three steps, which is first I assemble my data. So I'm going to create a data frame with three rows with some data that I'm going to test. Like I just want to know if I'm filtering the right date when I pass. So I just need to import that um, function. So from, oops, from price part sequence part row. So first I'm creating the data, which is a symbol, and then create a data frame We're using that instance. I'm just passing those rows on that list. I'm using map for that. And then I act, I use the function. Um, I think it's functions. So let me just fix that. Yeah, and then that's my function. And then I'm going to assert that before the filtering it's got three rows and then after the filtering, which is the result, it's two. So let's test it. Yeah, it's all passed. So next step, though, let's now create a Git repository. So let's now test on our CI CD. So for that, we need to create a folder called GitHub. GitHub. And then within that, we need to create another folder called workflow, set workflows with us. And that I'm just gonna create another file that's an YAML file. So I'm just gonna call the, um, I'll call it test validate.yaml. And I'm just gonna copy and paste just, and then I'll go through the, the code. So what I'm going to do here, uh, run tests and bundle validation, concurrency one. I'm just going to do on workflow dispatch and then I can start when I want. Um, and then I'm going to create a job, test code and bundle. Um, so I'm just going to check out, install Python. I'm going to upgrade pip, install the requirements, and then I'm going to run tests. And then I have those two variables that I'm gonna add to my repository. I'm just gonna show you how to do it. Uh, and then I'm just gonna validate the bundle. So with that, so let's create a, a Git repository here. So it looks like it's looking good. Let's do a git init. So that's initialized. Let's do a git status. So let's add all the files and now commit. So um, I'll do initial commit, and save, close. And then I'm just gonna get back to my terminal. I'm gonna go git status, which is nothing to commit. I'm just gonna now push to remote, but I don't have a remote. I'm just gonna go to my GitHub repositories. I'm just going to create a new one. 
called um, data breaks uh, unit. Oh, I call it unit test data breaks, which is me created repository. Now I'm just gonna add remote. Refresh here, but before press the button run workflow, which is this one. Before that, I'm gonna go to settings and then I'm gonna go to secrets and variables, actions, my repository secret, and then I go back to my direct to my code data bricks host from here that's the same on my local needs to be on my github add secret new repository secret that on that and the name of this one is that are bricks token add circuits all right with that i think it's all good to go click here run workflow i only have one branch run workflow all right no more shame source hmm i think let me just do one more check. I think I'm just need to put a module here, Python M. PyTest will work. Okay, this is working. Let's try to do this change. Python M PyTest. So, like, because if I do a pi test, I should have an error here as well. Yeah, that's the problem. Okay, let's commit this. Not should work. Let's see. Um actions that on that runner flow runner flow that's it this time around yeah all right now it passed right this is all that I'd like to show you guys I have a green tick Thanks for watching, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe, like the video and see you next time.